Hi and welcome to the second Team A basic tutorial. Now I'd like to uh, show you something about the air suicide. It's a very important function on Team A Legends. Um, you know, many people um, just select some air units and um, do some kind of, uh, I don't know, suicide flight into enemy uh, very strong anti-air units and the uh, opponents of course get all the um, kill score for these air units and that's absolutely not what you want to do um, so you can get rid of your air units um, and so you well you just do not give those uh, kill points to your opponents so it's better to suicide them so let me show you how this works we have two turrets, one in the upper left corner and one in the bottom right. Um, it's called Air Suicide and it will subtract um, 100 points per unit from your kill score. That's the price you have to pay. Um, both turrets can be used by both teams, so um, it doesn't matter if you go top or bottom. So check this Wraith, it's removed and it says minus 100 points. If you um, can kind of group those uh, units, um, it will only remove 100 points for all of them, so just don't fly into one by one. And this uh, vessel, it's Magellan, a hero unit, you just have to know that it also will suicide on the turret. Next quite important thing is there is a much quicker way to get uh, rid of um, two special types of air units, normal overlords and normal observers, and they can be suicided um, behind uh, your nexus or the opponent's nexus. It's uh, not important which one uh, you choose, you can suicide your observers and overlords um, behind your and the opponent nexus. So let's see this live too. Um, I have overlords here and um, an observer and uh, I also uh, here here by the way is the spot it's this spinning psiameter it says uh, observer um, overlord suicide one is on the top of the map and one on the bottom and um, well if I fly there with a normal air unit or a hero air unit, it just doesn't do anything. But now watch this. It's for free by the way. No minus score. You, I fly them with my overlords and they just vanish. Same thing is for the observer. I just fly there and boom, it's gone. Also quite important, at least sometimes, is the ground suicide. Um, thing is, when you go there with a unit, um, with a normal unit, then all of your normal units will be suicided and you get one observer in front of your nexus. Uh, your heroes will not be suicided and yeah, let's just see that live. So I have uh, a lot of zerg units here, some zerglings and some mutalisks, and um, there are two of those flags on the map. See, I have already one circling at the left uh, flag. It's called Ground Suicide, and it also um, yeah will subtract some score from you, um, 300 points, so you can kind of abuse it. So let's check this out again. My circling is ready on the right side. Um, I have those mutalisks and those circlings, and I have Magellan, my hero. This one won't be touched. So now let's move close to the flag and kaching we instantly get an observer 300 uh, points are subtracted and uh, my heroes uh, are still in the arena Now about those teleports um, some people just do not know um, how to use them or what I do and they can add a very strategic uh, element of gameplay so um, I have marked them here 
Um, the middle ones on the high grounds can be used by both teams, the upper ones can only be used by team 1 and the bottom ones can only be used by the bottom team. So let's see how these teleports work. We have two of them, one of the right of our nexus, one of the left side. So I go there with my marine and it is instantly teleported to the left high grounds. From here onto the high grounds. And now I use the middle teleport on the high grounds and I get teleported back uh, in front of my nexus. Same thing if I use the right one, I get teleported on the right high grounds and when I use the teleporter on the right high grounds I get teleported back in front of my nexus. Now, um, I said it before, um, as a player of team 1 I cannot use the teleports of the bottom team. Um, I just want you to believe me, so <laughs> if you go there you get a message the teleporter belongs to team 2 and same thing for the left one so you can't use these as a member of team 1 especially in late game you will uh, most probably do some drops with um, tanks and you will drop it behind those walls so melee units cannot reach them and sometimes it happens that um, your opponents do not have any air units so they can't uh, kill your tanks and um, we included a hidden suicide spot so I just show you that not here, not there, but in the very top left corner of the first zone, if you go there with your tank it will subtract 600 or I think it's 500 actually, 500 uh, mm, kill score. Um, same thing as uh, in the hero zone, again in the very corner. Uh, it's just not an uh, alternative to the normal ground suicide, that's why it costs so much. And it's in all four zones. And by the way, it's only for three types of units. It's um, for Reavers, it's for tanks and goliaths, so you have to know that. Reavers, tanks and goliaths. Another thing you might not know is um, your mutalisks, um, some people try to stack them, so they uh, uh, they just form kind of one ball of mutalisks, so they can't be hit that easy. Uh, it's very hard to do that um, if you just have those mutalisks. That's why we created an additional item, a Zerg Egg. Um, here for the bottom team it's in the bottom right corner, for the top team it's in the top left corner. It's called mutalisk stack, and you just select it. And also select your mutalisks, you can hotkey those, this group. And now um, notice what happens when I move those mutalisks around. They just form that one yeah, ball of flying mutalisks. And you, if you're good, you can do that Gozu uh, Korean micro. Uh, I can't, <laughs> as you can see here, but um, it's possible. A rather unimportant thing, but some people um, ask us, hey, what do those uh, three rascals behind the Nexus? Well, it's just like that. Um, the units spawn by triggers, and the unit rascal just cannot spawn by a trigger. I don't know why that is uh, like it is, but it is like it is. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when you select a Rasegal, one of those uh, will be removed and you get that, and that's why there are only three Rasegals per team. So let's move on to the third Team A basic tutorial. <laughs> 